Hi Church, um, great to be with you today. My name is Michelle, if you don't know me, and uh, I um, head up prayer here at Audacious, which is an amazing privilege and I absolutely love. So I just want to share with you for a couple of moments from a few verses in the book of John. And so I'm just going to read John 13, verse 34 and 35. And then I'll share a couple of thoughts. It says, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. I think that one of the greatest uh, joys of life is being part of the... Um, community of believers um, you know the bible talks about us having brothers and sisters in christ um, and you know we may not be um biological uh, family but through what jesus did on the cross we have been adopted into the family of god and therefore we have this amazing um amazing privilege to uh, be um, in relationship and to love one another. Now, I'm not saying that it is without its challenges because we know that um, being in family has its challenges, but um, Jesus really clearly in these verses is giving us what he calls a new command. And he is saying, love one another as I have loved you. So the first starting point for us is that Jesus's love is our foundation and he's saying uh, love one another as I have loved you and um, if we are struggling um, with our revelation of God's love for us um, I think that this is going to be quite hard for us I went through a season in my life when I was super irritable shall we say and um, with the people in my world who I really love and who I value but I found myself snapping at them I was irritable um, I was stressy I was not really a joy to be around and I um, realized that the reason that this was was because I, of how I felt about myself and when it came down to it ultimately I didn't really believe that God loved me or God could love me I knew what the Bible said I knew the verses I'd been a Christian a long time but I but in my heart I didn't really believe that and and it is through our revelation of knowing that God loves us um, that out of his love for us, we love others. It says that we, that we love because he first loved us. And so we are able to love God and we're able to love other people through his love for us. His love is never ending. It's abounding. Uh, it's abundant. It never runs dry. And so we, um, and we have access to uh, the love of God, which is absolutely incredible. Um, secondly, um, Jesus says here, a new command. Um, a command is what it says. <laughs> really, it is a command and it is something uh, that, that we are to follow. It's not um, an optional extra. It's not something that we can choose to do on the days we feel like it and not choose to do on the days that we don't feel like it. Jesus is saying, this is what I want you to do. This is the way that you are to walk. I want you to love one another and in your love for one another, all men, everyone, it says everyone will know that you are my disciples. This is one of the things that will set you apart your love for one another and um you know i'm not saying this is always easy actually this can be super challenging it can be super hard if we feel like we've been hurt we've been wronged we've been mistreated um you know 
to actually love people costs us and uh, it can cost us emotionally and um, it, it can be a challenge but um, we have the Holy Spirit, we have been given the gift, the precious gift of the Holy Spirit to help us and um, he can help us to love, um, help us to forgive and you know if, if you need to forgive Today, I want to encourage you, uh, as, you know, maybe pause the video even right now, or when we get to the end of this, I, I want you to invite you just to pause and to ask the Holy Spirit to help you just to forgive whoever you need to forgive. We, we are called to love one another. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm inviting you to do that. Um, and just the third thing is that, um, yeah, we we are called to love in action, and um, we are called to love in action. So, um, one John three eighteen says, "Let us, dear children, let us not love in words and speech, but with actions and in truth." And uh, love is a doing word. Uh, somebody once said that love is spell time, because actually just by taking the time to be with somebody to see how somebody is um you are showing that you love you're showing that you care you're showing you're placing value upon that person i want to encourage you today and ask you who is it uh, in your world that you can take time for today to show love and to place value upon them you know god has said to us a new command I give you love one another by this all men will know that you are my disciples and so I want to invite you to practically do something today to show love um, to somebody um, you know if you are, are struggling for ideas um, then just just pick up the phone and ask somebody uh, how they are, offer to pray with them, things like that. They can be little, but they can really mean a lot to somebody. So yes, we are part of the family of God and we've got the beautiful privilege of being called to love one another. So I'm just going to pray for us and, uh, and I'm going to let you get on your way. So Father, we just want to thank you uh, that we have been adopted into your family and we are your children and we thank you Lord that you have given us a new command to love one another. I just pray for anybody who is struggling Lord to love, whether they're struggling with forgiveness, struggling with isolation, whatever it is Lord, I pray today that you will help them and uh, Lord that you would help us to show love and to love one another today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And then we'll have a brilliant day, church, and thank you for joining me. Bye.